Uh, we also know that there's apparently a push on, and you did this on your show on Friday night, Corey, which is that we're going to have a lockdown every couple of years uh, to deal with climate change. Well, guess what? The next total thing that must be eradicated, that's smoking. Because according to the next governor of Queensland, yes, Dr Jeanette Young, the person who, of course, has got between people at birth, death and marriage, now says that smoking is something that she would like to see eradicated. Now, she's only in the job, I think, until November, so let's see what her policies are between now and then. Then, of course, she becomes the governor after that. But how do you feel, James, about, uh, well, the push to completely eradicate smoking of a legal product here in Queensland? Yeah, well, I suspect that probably, uh, you know, and I don't know this, but I suspect that she'll get a lot of plaudits from the very same people who would absolutely love to see marijuana legalised and probably handed out in schools, who would absolutely yeah. love to see heroin-safe injecting rooms on every street corner by every preschool. But, oh, no, not cigarettes, not cigars. They're evil. Um, you know, this, this sort of joyless, puritanical health nannyism, which has been... The staple of the left for years, if not decades, Paul, and has met its absolute denouement in the COVID crisis where all of these awful people have gotten all of this power over all of our lives. Well, they're not going to let it go. And, you know, I know there's going to be a lot of people out there saying, oh, smoking, I don't smoke. Smoking's bad for you. You shouldn't smoke. Well, fine, you shouldn't smoke, and I agree with that. But whatever. They're going to come for your beer next, your martini, your wine. They're going to come for your steak. Before you know it, we're all going to be living some sort of life where our food is going to be rationed out to us in these little pods of, you know, nutritionally uh, balanced goop that will help us live forever. We'll be mandated to exercise and not be sedentary, stand up in the workplace because sitting is the new smoking. They tell us these people never stop, they never quit, they never give up. And I'm just glad that under our current constitutional arrangements, governor, even in Queensland, is an utterly powerless position. Yeah, I mean, Corey, again, you know, thanks for keeping us safe. Uh, this is the, the, the mantra that has seen so much destroyed in the past uh, 12 months. Again, she's only got a few months to be able to uh, institute all of this. And, of course, you shouldn't smoke. We all know that it is the beginnings of a death sentence and it's a, the dumbest thing that I do with my life on top of many dumb things that I do in my life, OK? But, Corey, James is right too, right? Literally, in the ACT, they want to talk about decriminalising small amounts of drugs. Mm. That's OK. But, God forbid, you lit up a legal product. Yeah, that's, this is the hypocrisy and the duality of it. Governments won't ban smoking because they're too dependent on the cash that comes in from it. And they Correct. know that it wouldn't work. Banning anything doesn't really work. It just creates a, a black market along the way. But James has pointed it out very, very well. The same clowns that want to ban smoking are the ones that are happy to allow marijuana for recreational use or medicinal use. They're happy to see heroin injecting rooms because it minimises harm. But they don't want to legalise vaping, which is something like 95% less dangerous than smoking. It's not safe, but it's not perfect. But it's 95% less dangerous than smoking. Uh, it's much, much cheaper. And uh, it helps kick people kick the habit. Governments won't let that happen. This is... Um, a duality, I guess, a hypocrisy that is so trenchant in the health bureaucracy that um, I, you know, really don't pay that much attention to them anymore. Be master of your own ship, look after yourself, and if you, you know, eat the wrong food and you drink too much and you smoke too much, well, you probably won't end up in a pretty good state at the end of it. But nonetheless, we can all live our lives how we want to, can't we? Yeah, correct. I just had a look at the uh, federal budget papers because I'm a sicko for these things. The amount of money they expect to raise for tobacco taxes, federal government, next 12 months, $15 billion. $15 billion. So, again, just like fines. Without these things, they get nowhere near, um, well, the black are anywhere near it.